Brian! Oh! We have a Thursday Learn Day to shoot today. Oh, I was just playing with RGB. Brian, what's RGB? RGB, okay. So RGB is actually an acronym. It stands for red, green, and blue. This is something typically used with LEDs, which stands for? Light emitting diode? Nailed it. This type of technology is typically used in screens, such as like a TV, your mobile device, laptops, any sort of tablet, but also Sphero robots. Wow, okay, that's a lot. Um, can you tell me a little bit more about how Sphero robots use RGB? Sure. So Sphero robots use RGB to tell our robot what color we want to be displayed, right? Mm -hmm. Rather than in paint, for example, when you mix all the colors together, it forms... Black. Black, exactly. But with lights, when you mix all the colors together, it forms... White. Exactly. On a scale from zero, over here, to 255, we can tell, for example, what each color, red, green, and blue, what value we'll want. So zero value for red means very dark, mm -hmm. no red, whereas 255 would mean very bright, very red. And so we can dial each of these colors together to form uh, a blend or a color or a mix, anything like that. Let me show you how we do it in the Sphero EDU app for both Bolt and Spark Plus. All right. So let's take a look at the main LED, strobe, and fade blocks in Sphero EDU. The main LED block changes the colors of the two main LEDs on the Spark Plus and sets Bolt's matrix to a solid color. This lets you choose the colors, either by the color wheel or by adding the RGB values in this field. By doing this, you'll be able to change the main LED or the matrix on the robot. The strobe block allows you to flash a single color at a set rate. So after you choose the color, you have to set the strobe duration. This number represents both the on and off time of the light. The shorter you set the period, the faster the light will strobe. And the last thing you set is the count. How many times do you want the light to strobe or flash? So here, the fade block allows you to program the transition between two colors over a given period of time, like this. Awesome. We'll take this new understanding of RGB and the light blocks in the Sphero EDU app and add something flashy to your programs. Be sure to check out the challenge in this week's activity to learn a new programming hint. And stay tuned for next week for another Thursday Learn Day.